there's the Croatian border, European Union, Hrvatska, totally empty. Let's see what they say here. Okay, here we go. Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. We are here in Petrovaradin fortress and also they have a hotel here. And yeah, we we walked a little bit in the morning uh, around the fortress. Spectacular really. This was really too good. Uh, to miss worth the 90 euros definitely the view is just amazing onto the the Nubi river uh, yeah this fortress is I think it's 240 years old what's that dog doing now hopefully he won't start chasing me uh, yeah Today we'll be riding into Croatia, so back into the European Union again, because we need to slowly make our way home. So yeah, now we're gonna ride into the city when the light turns green. And let's see, we only saw it during the night when we arrived here. So let's see what what it looks like. Let's go! It's already spectacular this ride through through the um, tunnels here. You can even visit in uh, underground catacombs and museum and there are a lot of things you can see here. But you need a bit more time to check out everything. Okay, now we're leaving Petra Varadin and this is the Varadin bridge which was one of the things destroyed in 1999 when NATO bombed the city this was this was a heavily bombed city if my informations are correct there were bombing there was a period when they bombed every day bridges infrastructure and yeah, this bridge was one of them and then it was rebuilt. I think there was one more 
one more bridge <laughs> which was destroyed as well so yeah sad part of history and of course the civilians are always the ones who who get the worst of it yeah it's a pretty old place uh, it was officially declared as a city or town 270 years ago uh, but people lived here since before Christ so yeah uh, a long time I think I said yesterday that that this is this is the capital city of the Vojvodina region and this region is full of many different people uh, Serbs, Magyars, Hungarians, Romanians, Croatians there are many people living here so yeah it has some uh, some places have two names even in written in Hungarian just like on the Slovenian coast where it's written Italian as well Okay, now we need to. Oh, some Slovenians here at the at our Petra station. Just like in Slovenia. Let's fill up. My father needs to fill up, and then we are good to go. Okay, we are done with that, and now we have 80 kilometers to the board or something like that and then we're gonna probably fill up again or not or in Croatia we'll see so yeah let's see hopefully everything goes well here on these roads this guy has a go-kart on his roof you don't see that every day and we are out of out of the city out of the main city and we have one and a half hours to go so let's do this Finally, we, we reached this town. Oh, this took so long. One hour, we had to, to go all the way around. The main road was closed. It's, uh, they're renovating it. Uh, construction site and you can't pass on either side. And then we, we went on another ro route and there was an accident. Someone crashed head on it with a truck. Fatally. So then we had to go all the way around. All the way on the other side. And now we're finally here. Let's see. If they have any anything to eat, any restaurants or something. Uh here we are. At the border already so we have to go now we have to cross back into croatia no other way now 
have to find something to eat there. Let's see what they say. Okay, now we everything went smoothly, no problems at all. And now we're crossing here the the Danube River to the other side. I thought that this was all Serbia still, but looks like. We'll be crossing into yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye Serbia. And here's the Danube River. This is the border. The river is the border, yeah. Here it is. border European Union Hrvatska totally empty let's see what they say here okay This is it, everything smoothly, no problems at all. And now we continue to the first major town, I think it is in Croatia. Vukovar, Ilok. Uh, Ilok is the first major town, yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, we still need to find something to eat. Let's see what comes our way. Okay, here we are finally in Vukovar and now we will also be able to fill up now <laughs> it's really slowly getting into an emergency because we all have only one line left okay let's fill up And my turn. This is it. Okay, guys, we found something to eat. A local here told us on the gas station, recommended us a place. So we're riding there now, but here. You can see the, how should I say it, famous, no, water tower that's representing, or it's um, a memorial kind of for the war here. I'm not an expert in Balkan wars, but some horrible things happened here, you can google. Vukovar war or, or Balkan war Vukovar or something like that and you can see a piece of history oh 
Okay, here we go. Finally, it's 4:30, so it's very late. Let's see if they even have something. Hopefully, they do. Phew, pretty big house. Kucha. Kucha means house. Look over house. Okay, let's see what they have, and then we need to search for a room accommodation already here we go we ate something and now we are going to a uh, guest house which is here three kilometers away really great food in this look of our house let's see where our our accommodation is this town is also located directly by the, the new river so we we started at the river and and ended here again just like just like yesterday but we went upstream this time not with the river okay we are going here right Here should be somewhere this place. The church bells are ringing as well because it's 6 p.m. This should be here. Where is it now? This one? Yep, this should be it. Oh, here we are. Here's the. They're parking. The right side. Ah, okay. Nice. 